Hi, Nick here from Taunton Leisure. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the modular system, which is the Mythic 120 sleeping bag and the Ultrasphere 4.5 sleeping mat. Okay, so to start, we're going to chat about the Mythic 120, which is Rab's new ultra lightweight sleeping bag. Uh, it's a really specialist piece, so you wouldn't really be buying this unless you want to go ultralight. That's where they're focusing it. Um, the entire bag, where the, the entire construction of the bag weighs 330 grams, which is really, really very light. And it's only got 120 grams of 900 fill power hydrophobic down inside it. Now, the hydrophobic part is pretty important. If you've never had a hydrophobic down before in a product, basically it resists the moisture from outside and inside from you sweating into it, and it keeps its loft much better over a longer period of time. So that's one really useful uh, feature that it's got. This bag also is pretty special in that they're using their new tilt lining. So inside the bag, a bit difficult to see on camera, but there is this reflective lining on the inside. Now it's not like you might have seen in other things before, maybe like a survival bag where it's really tin foily and weird feeling. This is basically uh, ionized titanium. So somehow they get titanium and spray it onto a normal fabric and it keeps all its softness. I mean, it actually feels really nice to the touch, but it's incredibly effective. So that is reflecting all the heat that you're losing over the night back towards you. So that's probably one of the biggest features of this bag that's quite different to a standard lightweight, high fill power down bag. It's not a new concept, it's been around for a little while and I actually brought my old Rab top bag in. Now, I bought this probably 14 years ago when I'd been working in the shop for a while. But this was, I think, Rab's first effort at something super light and specialist. So it's a similar construction to this one. It's stitched through, so all these baffles you can see Stitching goes right through, that keeps it super light, lets it pack down really small because you lose, use less fabric to do that. Uh, on this bag, it has down only on the top, apart from in the foot box at the bottom where there's a double layer, so there's down underneath. In the new um, Mythic 120, it has down all the way over the top in the foot box and also there's baffles that are downfilled right back to about the level of your lower back. So it's insulated for, let's say, the bottom two thirds. Your legs generally do feel the cold quite a bit at night um, and your core would stay a little bit warmer. So that's why they do that. But also, in my opinion, they've designed it to work well with something like this. So this is actually Rab's Mythic Alpine Light Jacket. Uh, it's got 80 grams of down inside it. So if you add this jacket and this sleeping bag together, that's 200 grams of down. So if you were to sleep in this, that would insulate the top half underneath you as well, because it's got down in the back. And actually it'd be equivalent to this, the old top bag, which has 200 grams of down inside it, but only on the top. So, I'd say they're similar in temperature rating. Rab rate this sleeping bag when it's used with the Ultrasphere 4.5 mat, which we've got it sat on right now. Um, they rate it down to zero comfort limit, which is for a man effectively. So if it was for a lady, normally ladies sleep four or five degrees colder. So you might, if you're buying this as a lady, you would probably only rate it down to about five degrees, maybe four degrees above zero if you sleep warm. And that old top bag was actually rated to zero as well uh, back in the day. So pretty, pretty similar, to be honest. Um, 
if I didn't mention it before, it's got 900 fill down in the new Mythic bag. That was only the 800 fill that they've used in most of their bags over the years. So there's a big upgrade in um, the fill power of the down, so that makes it warmer. And with the tilt lining as well, I think that's probably gonna match up similarly to it. So that's pretty good. One of the other features that my old bag doesn't have is that Rab have added a nice little pillowcase onto the new Mythic. So if you want to, and I would suggest you probably would, it'd be quite nice to get your down jacket if you're not gonna sleep in it, if it's not too cold, um, or get a spare fleece or something like that. And before you know it, you've created yourself a really nice little pillow and that's actually really well sighted. So um, that's gonna be really comfy and warm as well. So we like that feature a lot. Other features on this one, they've put an offset zip on it. So it's very short, it's probably two foot, but as you can see, it makes it easier to get in and out of the bag. This one, the original one, it's literally just got a draw cord. So it opens up quite wide, but it's still a bit of a wiggle to get inside it. Um, the new Mythic, definitely better on that score. It's got a um, down-filled baffle on the inside of the zip to stop any cold coming through there as well. So that's quite nice. Okay, so a quick chat about the fit of the bag. Um, it's a tapered mummy bag. It's relatively snug fit. Um, so it's definitely a technical fit. The foot box is quite snug. Overall, the width is pretty good. I can zip it up from the inside quite easily, as you can see. It will fit anyone under six feet tall quite happily with no issues at all. Uh, what else to say about the bag? Well, it comes with a waterproof stuff sack, so that's quite nice. Pack size on that, well, you can see that stuff sack, but it will pack down to about probably a third of that if you really wanted to stuff it down that tight. Uh, personally, I normally put them in quite loose and then just stuff the whole bag into the bag so it fits a shape when you're packing it into your rucksack. Um, that's quite nice. Um, Tendi recycled nylon face fabric on this one. So I think it's fairly environmentally friendly. It's PFC free as well. So I'd say all round, if you're after a super lightweight, tiny pack size, high quality down bag, this could really do the job for you. And in my opinion, you would be able to stretch into spring and autumn with this one. I personally, even though I sleep warm, would probably be thinking if it's colder than two or three degrees, I might buy or use a different bag than that. But, you know, still really great product, looks beautiful fantastic construction quality. So yeah, I think we love it. Okay, so let's move on to the Ultrasphere 4.5. So this is Rab's latest and greatest sleep pad. They've done a few over the last year. Uh, the Ionosphere and the Stratosphere they uh, make. And this is basically, again, aimed towards the ultralighters. So the main specs of this are that it's constructed of a 20 denier recycled polyester face fabric. It's got a PU coating on the inside, which is basically to stop the air getting out of it. It has two layers of tilt lining, lining inside this one. I think it's probably the aluminium version rather than the titanium. They do say in their... Um, Bit of tech video that I watched that they use titanium on the inside of the Mythic where it's next to skin and if it's hidden away behind a face fabric they put aluminium on there instead. Same idea, same construction, so it's atomized or vaporized aluminium sprayed onto a fabric. Um, so that brings up the R value of this pad, so it's 4.3 R value which is pretty warm to be honest that's definitely stretching into winter in the UK I think it would probably be warm enough for below zero quite happily 
Um, so yeah, weighs 370 grams, which is extremely competitive compared to their main rivals in the marketplace. Uh, 51 centimetres across at its widest point, almost identical to everyone else in the sleeping pad market. 183 long, more than enough for me. And in fact, anyone up to about six foot will fit this. If you're a bit taller than that, you'll need the long version. They do a long wide, which is good for larger people. Um, not a lot else to say on that really. Eight centimeters thick, so pretty comfy. It, even point loading it, so sitting up, you can't really feel yourself hitting the floor, which is good when it's fully inflated. So they use a similar valve system to a lot of the other guys. So it's a two-way valve. If you want to deflate it, you take out both parts, but also while you're lying on it, you can just push your finger into the valve area and let a little bit of air out. Uh, Inflation-wise, it comes with a massive pump sack. So that basically goes onto the valve like so. And then you just open up the bag, put a little bit of air into it, and then force the air straight into it. Haven't tested it, as in how many of these it takes uh, on my own personal mat, which is a little bit bigger than that, similar size pump sack. It's about six full of those to get it fully inflated right up. I normally inflate it as hard as it will go and then lie down on it and then let some air out to get it perfectly comfortable after that. Uh, one nice thing about the pump sack is it is a fully taped dry bag, effectively. So if you want every little bit of your equipment to count, then rather than rolling this in with the mat, you can actually stow a load of stuff like clothing in it as well in your pack, which is really nice. So you're not carrying that just as a pump sack. It's actually a really useful item as well. Pack size, I, off the top of my head, I can't remember, I think it's 18 centimeters in total by nine. That's actually it. Uh, that's just some stuff stuffed into it. It's pretty similar to that size. It's tiny. I mean, that really is a tiny size. I mean, you're just not even gonna think about carrying that in a rucksack and at 370 grams well you know it's uh, barely a dried meal is it really or two so definitely amazing for your ultralighters there um, so going back to the sleeping bag one thing I didn't mention on the mythic earlier was that it has these sleeves on the back of the bag and they are there so that you can slide your mat into those and it keeps the sleeping bag located onto the top of the mat. And as you can see there, there's actually, rather than a ho the horizontal baffles that are on the front of the bag, you have a vertical baffle either side of the sleeping bag. And that is designed to drape down just over the edges of the mat. So when you're lying on the mat, especially if you're lying on your back, um, that will just keep out any coldness from the area where there's no insulation because as I mentioned before that area of the sleeping bag is completely uninsulated well we've got the bag turned round I said earlier actually the bottom of the bag is insulated so there's down in these baffles roughly up to the hip area so when you combine the two together you have uh, a pad and a sleeping bag all in for 700 grams. That's incredibly light. So it's, that's not much heavier than uh, one of Rab's favorite bags that they've been making for a long time, a Neutrino 400, just the bag on its own. So really, it's an amazing little system. And for spring, summer, maybe into autumn as well, I think you'd be super safe using this. I'd personally back it up. I'd never really go camping without a decent down jacket. That uh, Mythic Alpine light that I had on earlier, 
I'd take that as a bare minimum, even in the summer. And really, if it was spring or autumn, I'd be using a heavier weight down jacket than that. And then if I needed to, I could just wear that inside the bag to back it up. And I think you've got a really great system, super light, super small, means you can cut your pack down in size as well. You know, carrying a smaller pack, lighter pack, makes your day out a hell of a lot better. So um, what a great system. Uh, if you've got any questions about either of the products, all you need to do is leave a comment for us. And it would be really great if you could like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out. Um, and thanks for watching and see you next time.